That's the craziest thing about how they literally don't want anyone on the resorts to see how, you know, normal people in Haiti live, which is the way that the rest of the world lives, or most of it. They just want you to just enjoy your rum punches and daiquiris and ignore all the extreme poverty and, and suffering and desolation and carnage that's right there next to you. You know what I mean. Right, Larry? Larry? Huh? Yeah, that's crazy. Well, that's why you actually have to get off of the resorts to see anything. These kids were amazing, by the way. Um, did I show you this video of these kids in their school uniforms? They used to wear their backpacks on the front. We call them front backs. I think I'm gonna go get a frappuccino. What? No, no, they, they don't have frappuccinos in Haiti. You know, most people live perfectly happy lives in this world without frappuccinos. Going somewhere? So you missed the big drama. You remember how before you left, Kristoff set up that Facebook page for Game of Thrones night? Well, Dion was having a girls marathon and he was tweeting screenshots every time Lena Dunham takes it up the hoo-ha, which is constantly. Only Dion, Dion forgot that he was using Kristoff's Twitter account, which auto posts to the Facebook page. So the entire Game of Thrones Facebook page ended up getting flooded with Lena Dunham's sex pics. Kristoff was so mad, he ended up canceling Game of Thrones night altogether. In Haiti, it's not that they embrace death. They're far from it. They, they accept the inevitable. So when somebody dies, uh, the family members, they actually take turns singing into the mouth and the rectum of the deceased. Kind of makes you think, doesn't it? You haven't listened to anything I said. Yeah. I'm not mad. I'm not mad. In Haiti, when one friend is mad at another, they, they form what's called a friendship circle. It's, it's Look, point. Tobias. I get it, you spent a couple of weeks in Haiti and now suddenly you see everything more deeply than the rest of us do. I'll tell you what, I'm gonna go to Starbucks and see if they can make a special drink just for honorary Haitians. Maybe they can pollute some water for you. I'm sorry. That came out harsher than I thought it would. It's going to tie a ceremonial scarf around each other's wrists. Tobias? For 30 minutes, please. Can you stop talking about Port-au-Prince? Please. I think so. Yes. Good. It's pr Prince. What? You said, you said Prince, but it's pronounced Prince in, in Haiti. Goodbye, Tobias. Just, they say it up in the throat like the French do, the Prince. Haiti used to be a French slave colony. Hey man, could you spare some change? Yeah, here. Just, oh, here. I haven't eaten in a while. Thanks, man. Do uh, you got any more? I'd like to get a sandwich or something. Yeah, sure, you can take that and, and then uh, can get you a sandwich. If you want to go to get you want to share a sandwich? Yeah, yeah, I know a place right over here. Yeah. Come on. That's the craziest thing of all. Is that, you know, they don't want people to see how how you know normal people in Haiti you know really live you know which is basically just how how the, the rest of the people in the world live dude you're killing my buzz man I'm good I can't eat cheese and the gluten I can't really do that either that's why I'm picking oh but you can have I can the take the gluten. Yeah, why don't you? Yeah. But I'll take this lettuce. All right. Yeah, well, here, can you just hold this? Yeah, yeah, yeah.